Avocados can keep me alive, but clothes give me my will to live. Don't believe me that I love avocados? Well, come with me. Welcome to my bedroom, where I have immortalized my love for avocados into bedroom decor. And his name is Exposé because he's sliced in half and his nut is exposed. Oh, poor guy. But I believe he isn't a Hass avocado because he's green on the outside. And fun fact, 97% of avocados in the USA eaten are Hass avocados. And so therefore, if you think about it, if some sort of coronavirus were to sweep across the avocado population, there would only be 3% left for all of the USA. Now, 3% isn't even enough for me, myself, and I alone. So hopefully farmers have a better handle on disease spreading than our dear president did. Maybe they can quarantine these avocados, <laughs> put them in lockdown. If anyone can guess out of 10 items that I will show you today, how many of them are thrifted? Well then, you will know me very, very well. <laughs> First is our two-tone shorts. Now these are quite unique and you know when you just lay your hands on a pair of denim that's like 100% cotton and woven with these, these thick, thick strands? That's what she said. <laughs> it, gives you, it gives you the strength to go on another day when you lose your will to live. And, and that quickly, quickly got really dark so let's just cover this up with some cute uh, modeling shots. <laughs> These are my favorite shorts because they are just so flattering on my body. They're high-waisted so they hit me at the smallest part of my waist, which God knows I need that help because I am shaped like a freaking rectangle. <laughs> and they're cut in a way that accentuates my legs without being too scandalous. Like these shorts would totally pass those silly high school dress code rules, which seem to only penalize one gender and not the other. Next up, we have this wonderful pink dress that is very reminiscent of the early 2000s. And this is like the kind of dress I would wear to my high school prom, but I didn't go. And the story behind that actually is, I was asked out by this German exchange student my senior year of high school, but I turned him down in the end because none of my friends wanted to go to prom. And so therefore, I wasn't about to leave them into dust. Into dust. <laughs> And when I say I am ride or die for my girls, I am joshing. Here's me booging it down at the dance floor. My ballet teacher would be so ashamed <laughs> of these moves. But this dress is in a beautiful ballet pink with a cross strap in the back. And what makes this dress far and above all my others are the details. Check out these beaded floral details on the bust and this cute little bow at the bottom. Next up we have this beautiful sky blue halter top with the Cubs logo. Go Cubbies! Go Cubbies! I love the Cubs! I love sports. I really like this top for its shape. I've got fairly wide shoulders like a swimmer and I find this very flattering on me. I also love the lettuce stitched detail at the bottom that makes it feel a little bit more special and a little bit more retro. It's also, like I said at the beginning, got a Cubs logo which ever since they won the World Series has become quite fashionable and you really can't tell the difference between longtime fans and bandwagoners these days. I'm neither. I like the Cubs for the sole reason that it represents Chicago, a city that I call home. Next up we have this gorgeous strappy silky lilac number which I thrifted. 
When I picked this up, the first thing I thought of was Edie Britt from Desperate Housewives, which was my childhood show. In fact, the pinnacle of my childhood and represented everything good in this world. Edie, the fucking hilarious housewife, would totally wear this. But just without the white t-shirt underneath because she's not modest at all. <laughs> This is my grassy bag, which I use all the time over the summer. This was, did you guess it? Thrifted. And I was looking for a really good quality grass bag for a while, but was definitely not willing to go designer. I'm looking online right now and this bag is sold out. I'm not kidding. These bitches be fucking crazy. Thank Lord Jesus I'm good at thrifting because woo -ee. It makes me feel like Jane Birkin, who is one of my style icons, she's actually the French supermodel from the 60s in which the infamous Birkin bag was named after. We have this wonderful white tennis skirt from Adidas, and I don't play tennis, but I do watch it on the occasion. My favorite tennis players are Shea Su Wei, Naomi Osaka, and Stefano Stipatipas from Greece. I like the skirt because it's flattering. It's high-waisted. It's lightweight, so I don't sweat my tits off over the summer, or sh maybe I should say my ass off. <laughs> I also like that you can't really tell what brand it is. I hate, one thing I hate is I hate things that are heavily branded. Um, oh, and it's thrifted. Next, we have this Levi's Sherling denim jacket. I am from Illinois, after all, and it gets butt-ass freezing out here. And so this is the first wintery, winter-ish item I'm showing you, although this would never last a Illinois winter. <laughs> More of an early fall item. This is actually not thrifted. I purchased it uh, from the men's section at Levi's. And one thing about men's clothing is that it's almost always better quality and it's cheaper how and i chose it to be quite oversized on purpose because then you can wear chunky sweaters underneath and not feel like you can't move or feel claustrophobic in your own clothing it's got this faux shirling material on the inside that helps trap the air to keep you nice and warm Here we have this beautiful rain jacket that I thrifted. Not only does it snow here, but it rains a ton in the spring. I like this rain jacket because it's a bit more of a retro vibe rather than just a straight up utility rain jacket. You know what I'm talking about, view those ugly, ugly kinds. But I do find in the Midwest, we aren't really known for style, like at all. It's much more utility and function based. That's why Patagonia, the North Face, those two companies are super, super big here and they're not necessarily known for having like the most stylish designs or anything. This raincoat also packs in a little bit of fun into it. There's the somber blue navy coating on the outside and then there's that happy green print with hearts on the inside. My last and final item, congratulations, you made it here, is this cashmere scarf that is longer than I am. Way longer than I am. Voila, look at that. It's practically a human blanket. You can pack it on the plane, you can pack it on the train, you can pack it in the car. And I wear this pretty much every single day in the fall months. All right, my chickadees. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You should now have to bring everything back up to my bedroom. How am I gonna do this? Ow! I just whacked myself in the face with a with a clothes hanger. Spoilers.
about a piece of armor.